If we look at our um, models, the word for who's in Clallam is the word for who, san, with a T, X, raised W on the front of the, in front of it, san. The question word san comes first, then the thing that is possessed comes next. So if we look at our models, san, ait, skaha, whose dog is it? The ait is not necessary, but speakers often use it. And instead of ait, you can also use ooch. Who's it? I. Chan I. Whose dog is it? Chan I. Skaha. Chan I. Skaha. Whose dog goes? Chan I. Skaha. Chan I. Skaha. Whose dog takes it? Chan I. Skaha. The word tsan is really a verb meaning to be whose. So, so the English translation is it is already built in into the Klalom word. It's possible to say Tsan Sin, who's am I? And Tsan, whose are you? Tsan can be used as a verb in a pattern, like Tsan Ait Saskaha, whose is that dog? Or it can translate to the dog is whose. And the small difference in the pattern and meaning between the sentence and the model, um, between this sentence and the model sentence Tsan ait skaha, whose dog is it? Or you can translate it to, it is whose dog? Um, aside from the word of the possessed thing following the question word, tsan works just like tsan. And new vocabulary in this lesson, it would be nut chung, nut chung, kwai. Kwai, kwachang, kwachang, and salkang, salkang. Let's go over the Kunoi. Fourteen. Tan I squat. And that's it.